Europa, the smallest of Jupiter's four Galilean moons. Its surface is icy and inhospitable, yet hidden beneath the ice sheet of unknown thickness is a liquid ocean which may be hiding a secret. There may be life in the vast oceans of Europa. Proposed missions to explore the moon look increasingly possible in the 2020s and 2030s. Water, along with hydrogen and oxygen, are the building blocks of life as we know it, so it makes sense to follow water in the search for extraterrestrial life. The Mars Curiosity rover looked for water on the red planet's surface, and did find traces of ancient evaporated lakes. But most scientists believe there is very little chance that Mars still supports life today. Liquid water is believed to be present in several places in our solar system, namely five icy moons of the gas giant, Enceladus and Titan at Saturn, and Ganymede, Europa, and Callisto at Jupiter. Europa is a good bet because of its huge global ocean, which is estimated to contain twice as much water as Earth's oceans. There is slim to no chance life is active on Europa's hostile frozen surface, but below the ice, the liquid ocean is thought to be in contact with the seafloor, potentially mixing the water with other nutrients required to support life. What other kinds of life would there be? Well, it could be similar to microbes that swim around Earth's deep, dark seafloor and subglacial lakes. Microbial life is the most likely of scenarios, but who knows? There could be more evolved life in an ecosystem we haven't considered or observed. There's a small chance of more evolved life such as fish or cephalopods. Some cephalopods such as octopi are quite intelligent. In the event of the existence of a European cephalopod, it's possible that the organism has been around longer than humanity itself. Not all organisms evolve or progress at the same rate. And yet humans have failed to find any examples of life on planets other than our own. So even a small microbe would be a big deal. Jupiter's immense gravity creates tidal forces that continually ebb and flow. Inside Europa's rocky interior, this results in greater geological activity, and with it, the generation of heat. Scientists believe this geothermal activity may drive volcanic vents on the seafloor, raising the chances of Europa's habitability, since vent systems on our own world support a wide variety of life. NASA is preparing two missions to explore Europa's environment. First, a flyby mission called Europa Clipper to launch around 2022. The second proposed mission is a more ambitious project, a lander to explore the surface. Getting the water may be complicated. The outer crust of solid ice may be anywhere from 10 to 30 kilometers thick. Past ideas for overcoming this have been inventive. Suggestions have included equipping the Europa lander with a rotating saw to take core samples, or a drill that gets hot enough to melt through the ice. But these may be unnecessary. Astronomers using NASA's Hubble Space Telescope have seen what is believed to be high-altitude water vapor plumes erupting off the moon's surface. These could be regular occurrences. Jets of water vapor have also been observed on the surface of Saturn's move, Enceladus. If this is the case, then it's an increasing possibility that missions to Europa may have another, simpler, way to sample Europa's subsurface without drilling through the ice. It's been predicted the water plumes rise about 200 kilometers into space before raining down. Timed right, a vehicle could simply fly through the water plume and collect what's on the windshield. The purpose of the Europa missions would be to definitively answer the most elusive question, is the origin of life easy? If the origin of life is easy, then the universe could be much more alive than we think. The abundance of intelligent life, on the other hand, is a story for another time. To find even the simplest form of life in our solar system dramatically increases the likelihood that there is life spread across the universe. Hey everybody, John Burrow from Mammoth Animations. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, you can support us by enrolling in this free course on how to make games without coding. This course is normally $30 and you can have it today for free. This sale won't last forever, so enroll today. If you really like this video, you can like and subscribe. Also, please be sure to comment on the video as well. We do read the comments. Lastly, if you're a big fan of Mammoth Animations, you can support us on Patreon. It's because of patrons like you that make this video possible. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned next week for another Mammoth Animation.